Hello, I'm Martin from uh, Red Blue website and today I'm going to show you how to use the WordPress text widget. And uh, this widget can be used basically to put any content uh, onto your WordPress sidebar, like for example this box with services. Uh, in this box we basically have a list of services where each item points to a separate page that describes each specific service. And uh, this box can be easily done, you can easily do it without any programming knowledge. Uh, you just need a little bit of HTML knowledge and I'll show you exactly how to create such a list. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting up a text widget. And by the way, a text widget can contain almost anything that uh, you can think of because uh, you can put basically any HTML code in there including uh, Google AdSense, you can put an ad there or you can put um, your Google Analytics code or you can put your Facebook uh, widget there as well. And um, we're just gonna save this widget and also I'm going to put it to show only on the front page. And this is a very good plugin as well that is called Widget Context that allows us to specify which pages we want to show the widget on. So if you still don't have it, download it and install it on your blog. It's really handy plugin. Uh, so there we go. Uh, now we have created the widget, and as you can see, it appears right here with this text in there. Uh, so um, we're gonna just go right ahead and create this list of uh, services uh, that uh, your business might provide, for example. So we're gonna go back to the widget and we're gonna add a list. Now uh, in HTML. Uh, lists, there are basically two types of lists. One is unordered list and one is ordered list. Uh, so in this case we're going to be using the UL, the unordered list, uh, and we're going to create the items for each service. And then we can add custom plugins and uh, custom custom themes and uh, for example like that and uh, then we just save the widget and uh, we go back here and as you can see uh, now we have a list of, of items here um, a list of our services uh, so uh, what we want to do now is uh, link each item to a page uh, that actually describes the service like we did here for example. Uh, in order to do that what we need to do is we need to create a page in WordPress for each and every service here. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna create a page for the first one of the services. Uh, so uh, we create a WordPress websites page like that and uh, then we click publish and uh, as you can see here at the top uh, there is a permalink we're gonna be needing this permalink because we're gonna put it in our list on the sidebar so we just copy the relative part of the permalink without the domain just the last part of the permalink and uh, then we go to the widgets here and uh, we link this first item to our uh, page that we've just created. So uh, I'm going to create a link here. In HTML links are created with an A tag which stands for anchor as an anchor on a ship for example and then we have href which uh, specifies where the anchor is pointing uh, and then we put an end tag there beside uh, behind the WordPress website's uh, text and so all of this text is going to be linked to this page. So now we're going to save this and we're going to go back here, reload and as you can see here now we have linked this uh, item to a page. And uh, from here onwards you can create a page for each one of your services and describe them uh, in more detail to, to your customers uh, and then uh, basically create um, the the complete list here. Now I know there could be a better way to do it. Uh, if you're a more advanced user, obviously the best way is to uh, create a post for each service and uh, and then to create a plugin that just lists 
posts which are for example tagged with a tag services and then they will appear automatically here so that um, you won't have to modify this widget every time you add a new service but uh, if you're just a beginner this is a very simple way for you to actually add some custom content to your sidebar uh, so um, I'm going to show you now how to add those bullet points here um, and also um, another thing here we, we can see that the WordPress websites page actually appeared in our uh, top menu and we don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and uh, we're gonna go to the page and um, we're gonna take um, let's see yes that was that one uh, and we're going to edit the page and uh, exclude it from the menu list. Now this is also a plugin that you can download. It's called Exclude Pages, uh, which allows you to exclude pages from your menu bar. So we update that one. And as you can see now, we don't have that link there, which is great. So now, now we're going to go, go ahead and create this list of uh, custom bullet points. Uh, to do that, we're going to need to um, add a CSS class to our theme. Um, the CSS class is going to be used to style this whole list. So uh, we're going to specify the CSS class here that uh, should be used to style this list and we can call it for example service list. Um, what this means is that uh, a CSS class called service list will be used to style this whole list. So we can actually specify which styles we want to use for the whole list and for each individual item in the list. And we can even specify the color of the links that we're going to be using in this list. So we're going to go ahead now, save this one, and uh, we're going to go to our theme uh, editor here, and we're going to open the style CSS file there. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is add a new style here called service list, like that right but um, what we also want to do is we want to make sure that th this style is only used for the UL elements uh, on our page so we put a UL service list so this means that this style will be used only for the UL elements uh, with class service list uh, so um, we create another one here for uh, the LI elements inside the service list class which we're going to be using to style the LI elements uh, so now that that is done, uh, what we're going to do is um, we need to create a background image for this uh, bullet point here. Um, and uh, we're going to do that by uploading a background image uh, to our media library. So click Add New on the media there and select File. And then we're going to go to uh, here and we're going to uh, upload uh, an image uh, list bullet there. So now we have an image there and uh, here in the bottom it says the URL to the image and that is exactly what the URL we're going to be using in our CSS file. So we copy that relative URL uh, again without the, the um, domain name and we save changes there uh, and we go back to uh, the theme editor here uh, now normally you would add the image to to the theme uh, to the theme folder but um, because I want to make it very simple for you I don't want to to add extra complexity by uh, showing you how to um, modify uh, your theme uh, uh, offline on your computer uh, normally it would look something like this this is the text editor I use to to edit my themes uh, but uh, to, to keep it very simple, uh, we're going to just be using the built-in editor in WordPress and we're not going to be um, uh, uploading any files to the, to the server. So uh, we scroll down here um, and um, we open the style first there. We scroll down and we can see the LI element. So what we want to do is we want to specify the background image for the list as a URL and then we point it to our image there. And we also want to specify background um, repeat because we don't want to repeat the, the background across the list item. So we say no repeat there. And another uh, setting that we can put uh, right away is background uh, position. 
0 and 2px. Um, I can actually show you what it looks like without the uh, without the position. Uh, just copy that and uh, we save the file. Uh, it will look something like this. Uh, so um, the the bullet points are a little bit too too high up there, and also the text is uh, is positioned way back to the left. So there's two things we want to do. First of all, we want to move the bullet point a little bit downwards there, and we want to move the text a little bit to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we do that by first uh, moving the background a little bit downwards, and then we put padding uh, left um, for the text 14px. Now because our bullet point is only 10 pixels wide, 14px uh, will place the text right uh, to the right of the bullet point, just like that, you see? Uh, so now we're almost ready. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, remove this default bullet point there uh, from the entire list. And we also want to move uh, this list a little bit to the left. So we're going to remove the default bullet point first. And that is done using the setting called list style for the entire list here, as you can see. Uh, and we set it to none. Uh, and once we save that, we'll have a uh, list that looks like this. Uh, now uh, what I have here is that uh, the list is um, the list has a margin uh, to the left set to about 20 pixels so it's indented slightly to the right uh, and uh, this is um, this indention is applied to all lists uh, in this template so um, so that they look much nicer when they're put uh, somewhere else on the page but we obviously don't want to have that indentation for this um, sidebar here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that indentation uh, from the list item. So we add another setting to the list item class here uh, called margin uh, left and we set it to 0 px, 0 pixels. Uh, and when we save that we can see that uh, now the list appears exactly as we want it to appear. So that's it. Uh, now we have created uh, a custom, completely custom widget, completely custom HTML widget uh, that contains a list of services uh, and, and we can add new links to it and uh, we can also specify which pages we want this widget to appear on uh, so for instance if we click on that page you can see the widget does not appear on this page uh, it only appears on the front page uh, and so there's really a lot of flexibility for you here uh, even as a very novice user to to actually add custom custom items to your to your sidebar and to customize uh, your WordPress theme. Now, if you have any questions uh, either about this or if you have uh, questions about WordPress, then just go to my forum at uh, redbluewebsites.com/forum and uh, ask your questions there. Um, I'll make sure that I answer you the best I can, and uh, I'll hear from you later. Bye bye.